Marco was born in Venice, Italy around the year of 1254 to a wealthy Venetian merchant family. His father spent most of Polo's youth in Asia. In 1271, his father returned from the courts of Kublai Khan to bring Marco Polo back with them. Polo's journey took place on land, and they were forced to cut through challenging and sometimes harsh territory. Through it all, Marco reveled in the adventure. His later memory of the places and cultures he witnessed was remarkable and exceptionally accurate. His account of the Orient especially provided the Western world with its first clear picture of the East's geography and ethnic customs. Had originally planned to be gone for only a few years. However, they were away from Venice for more than 23 years. In Kublai Khan's service and court, Marco impressed Khan, who thought highly of his abilities as a merchant. Marco's immersion into the Chinese culture resulted in him mastering four languages. Khan eventually employed Marco as a special envoy. As a result, he sent Marco into far-flung areas of Asia never before explored by Europeans. Burma, India, Tibet, and other areas were among the places that Marco ventured into. From his travels, Marco amassed not only a great knowledge about the Mongol Empire, but incredible wonder. He marveled at the emperor's use of paper money, an idea that had failed to reach Europe, and was in awe of its economy and scale of production. After 17 years in Khan's court, the Polos decided it was time to return to Venice. Their decision did not please Khan, who had grown to depend on the men. In the end, he agreed to their request with one condition. They escort a Mongol princess to Persia, where she was to marry a Persian prince. Marco commanded a ship in a war, which resulted in his imprisonment. He met a fellow prisoner and writer who wrote Marco's stories and compiled them into a book now known as The Travels of Marco Polo. In the centuries since his death, Marco's stories have inspired countless other adventurers to set off and see the world. Two centuries after Marco's passing, Christopher Columbus set off across the Atlantic in hopes of finding a new route to the Orient. With him was a copy of Marco Polo's book. Marco continues to inspire many people to this day.